Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today I am filming the day in the life of a small business owner. I feel like I finally got my routine down. I know how to have a super productive day and it always starts out by planning out my day and just doing my time blocking. So I thought it would be fun to share with you guys pretty much the busiest day of the week for me, which is always Fridays on a drop day because I'm literally working morning to night. I'm just making another yogurt bowl for breakfast, which I've already shown you guys how to do. But on a side, Side note, I got this Greek Gods Greek yogurt for the first time. I've never actually tried this brand before and I love it. It is so good. It's so creamy and the honey vanilla flavor is just like really good. So highly recommend this brand if they have it at your store. I feel like this isn't at Publix or at least I've never seen it before but I know they have it at Sprouts. Here is my breakfast. Sun Bunny orders are flying in right now, so I'm gonna eat this quick, and I'm gonna try to start packaging them as they're coming in. Okay, I'm about to get started packing orders, but if you're new here, I'll show you guys kind of how I get set up to just like process a ton of orders as quickly as possible. So this is my Rolo printer. It makes things super, super fast because the shipping labels just print out of this, and it's just a peel and stick instead of having to like cut out paper and tape it. And then over here, I just have my coupon cards that I include with orders over 75 tape if I need it. I've got some extra tags and my tagging gun in case there is a tag that falls off or something. These are the basic poly mailers that I use, um, the standard size, but if someone orders more then I have larger ones in here. And then over here is where I have the tissue paper that I like to wrap things in. And then this is like bigger, heavier duty paper that I will wrap things in if it's like a hat or a purse, something that I want to make sure it doesn't get damaged in shipping. So here's my setup and I just go over to my closet grab the stuff, print the label, and package. I just got a ton of orders packaged up and it's almost two o'clock so I'm gonna stop here for now and take these to the post office so that way I can get all of these out today before they pick up. Okay, everything is officially loaded up. Let's take it to the post office. I'm back home and now that I finally just made a bunch of sales and got rid of a bunch of stuff, I am finally gonna go through these three boxes full of inventory and just hang everything up because I'm so tired of looking at these boxes.
This is the real life aftermath of what it looks like after I go through inventory. It's like a complete bomb went off. I mean, my trash can's completely full too. So I have to clean all of this up. That stuff over there I'm not going to take out yet because it's actually not for the next drop. It's going to be for the one after that. And I'm super excited because it's actually cardigans. I can't believe that it's almost time for cardigans. Like next month is literally September, even though it feels like last month was March. I'm going to make a little hummus veggie wrap for lunch. This is definitely a late lunch, so I will probably have a late dinner. But yeah, I'm just going to chop up a bunch of veggies, throw them on this with some hummus. So here's the final product of my hummus veggie wrap. I'm gonna eat this and then I have one more thing I need to get done today like for work and then I'm gonna relax. So my last work-related task of the day is going to be to go on Pinterest and do some pinning. I am really trying to utilize Pinterest as a great source to bring traffic to my website. And my business is through Shopify, but by posting things on somebody Pinterest account, I'm able to bring other people to the website that might not normally see my content. And I also like to repin things that like come from my personal Pinterest account. This one was posted directly from Instagram. And then obviously I post other things. So I'll show you guys my boards if you're not already following me. It's pinterest.com slash shop sunbunny. So I have like an inspirational board, outfit inspo board. So this is the one that I primarily use. It gives me great ideas for things I might wanna stock on the website. And I also like using Pinterest to get like pose ideas and stuff like that. So this is the Amy Rib Tank. And the goal is that other people will see this and save it to their board. And if they're interested in it, they'll be able to click on it and shop the image or even just take them directly to my website. I've been using Pinterest a little bit every day and right now I'm at 829.2K monthly viewers. So I'm really trying to get that up to 1 million because then when I create my own pins, I know they're gonna be seen by a lot of people. And like I said, it just drives traffic to my website. So if you have a small business, totally recommend hopping on Pinterest. I think it's a really good way to help your business take off. So it is way later now. I have literally worked all day long. I'm so proud of myself. I was super productive today. Finally got through all of that inventory and I got tons of orders sent out today, which is amazing. Same day that you guys placed them, I got them to the post office, which is always such a good feeling. And I broke down my gigantic mountain full of boxes because I accumulate so many boxes from inventory and then also just like stuff I order and Chad always gives me a hard time because I like just let it stack and stack and stack and I have all of these boxes. So I finally broke them all down and put them in the recycling bin. So I got that done. And then I decided I was too tired to cook. So I literally just threw a microwavable meal in the microwave and that's cooking right now because I don't feel like cooking. So I'm watching Selling Sunset. Let me know if you guys have watched this. I watched the first two episodes like a couple weeks ago with Alyssa and we both really, really liked it but i'm not waiting for her to watch the other episode so hopefully she's not mad but i'm not gonna see her this weekend because she's away in another state and i've been like dying to watch it again so Alyssa, if you're seeing this i'm sorry i'm watching selling sunset without you it is way later i am ending my night starting this new book i actually got this book a while back but i was finishing up another one before i could read it which took me forever. So I'm really excited to read this. I've heard so many good things about it. So yeah, I'm going to start this book and then I'm going to go to sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.